kind of nice way because <laughs> they instantly went defensive. Like when they saw the aggression from chicken fighters, they started picking heroes that were going to be better, like after like the 25 minute mark, you know, like Medusa right now in an uncontested game with equal farm should be able to 1v9. The panel mentioned how strong IO Storm is. Again, same type of deal, Storm late game, there isn't anything to kill him. And then this Trin last pick, mm -hmm. I love this pick because Phantasma now two games in a row, SD into Terrorblade game one, and now Tree into a lineup that doesn't really hit buildings that quickly until like Tiny has Shard, AC, a couple more items, right? So I feel like this Tree pick is basically Winter Bear's way of saying, we're not really going to be able to out team fight them early. So let's just survive. Let's just defend our towers, make yeah. it annoying. And then at like 30 minutes at second Roshan, that's when we're going to enter the game of our, our might. Unless they crush landing phase and run them over. But I kind of, I feel like they've, they've, they've accepted that they're probably not going to win the early game right now. So I actually love the way that they approach this draft. And it's nice to see. But again, chicken fighters, they have so much damage early on that they could potentially just roll over this game and yeah be before medusa even gets any items now let's have a look see if they're able to play just for that fast tempo that we saw come out from uh, winter bear the other time round in that game one so a bit of a switch up in styles this time see bang and given zoom zigzag a bit of a rundown but he's fine he's got the headdress and tangos and we'll see the the lane matchup so top lane brute and io against the Undying and the, the safe lane Tiny. It's just the classic Undying versus two strength heroes, right? Yeah. He's just going to walk around in between them, just annoy them. Eventually, Brute Eye will be able to chase down the Undying once you get like some points in Cinder Brute, Brute the Clap. You might even be able to punish him a little bit, but yeah, this is going to be a difficult lane to start with early levels. Tiny Undying should just be able to dominate this. Oh, Zoom's exactly nearly yeah. dead. In fact, he is. Dead. There we go, Chicken Fighters with a quick first blood here on that top lane. It's actually quite an unfair lane. <laughs> He's like, kind of, you have like cheat codes on if you're undying right now. It's just, they're like, yeah, they need like level three to be able to actually kill you. So until then, Bengen should be playing with just this, this absolute might and force in front of the, in front of the, uh, the creep waves. I think this bot lane is going to be pretty interesting uh, in regards to Zibe because this is the type of game where Pangolin, if he goes for a Diffusal Blade again, made it a little bit cheaper, a mm -hmm. little bit easier to buy now. Some Diffusal into Medusa, Brew, Storm, like, it's super high value. And I feel like Pangolin needs to itemize to be a core in this game, so that you don't lose damage going into later portions. When Puck is your control, Tiny is by himself A-clicking, you need that extra something to turn a fight in. I think I'd love to see Pangolin be a little bit greedier in this game. He should feel that they can't win the game quickly. So yeah, I really hope to see some Diffusal Blade, probably like a Yule's Blink, Ags Basher type situation. Just get into the middle of the fight, be super annoying. Don't just go for utility and hope that you win the game in like the first 25, 30 minutes. See bottom Phantasma in a bit of trouble here. They'll run him down, they'll take him out, Shibane Era. As he gets caught. In the river. Uh, so over, how do you feel the game's going to be for both of the team's mids? You know, the, the puck and the storm. Uh, with, with the drafts wrapped up, who, who sort of faces the bigger struggles? Honestly, it's probably the the storm has the bigger struggles. Yeah. Just because of the support rotations. You're not really going to see a tree or IO make moves on the map. In kind of supporting terms, tree AFK spot and like Medusa will go jungle, Tree will then have points in the grasp and will play bottom. Io never really ganks and will always hug the offlane hero. He might TP save mid lane or something, but it's not like he's smoking in to get like the haha surprise we killed you. So right now, chicken fighters, when Puck hits six, instant coil, there's gonna be maybe a Pangolier rotation or an Undying or a Coddle. Like it doesn't matter if these heroes can't really find the kill, but just bring numbers to mid, punish how static Winter Bear is in regards to their heroes. So, yeah, I'm I'm more concerned for Pastel this game. It's not as easy as the last game where he's got the Hoodwink rotating in minute four, getting that cheeky little uh, water rune kill, and then giving Pastel just a beautiful entry to the game. I'm gonna see here, Chicken Fighters, making a move for Zoom Zigzag. He'll tether over, but it doesn't matter. Coma's there, ready to catch him as he swings over towards Kachal. Now take down Zoom Zigzag for a second time in that top lane. 
Yeah, and that's also just a really nice uh, undying thing where you don't level Sorok. In these type of lanes, like you don't need to go for the burst of the soul rep. You can just go for the tombstone. If they're deep down the lane, there's no way they'll be able to kill it because they'll be getting right clicked by a tiny. So yeah, I love seeing undyings not always just go for the standard like one two build, no tombstones. You can just easily go 101. And I think Kuroki also did one first level tombstone to dive someone at Gamers Galaxy. If I think I saw that on Reddit or something. So yeah, undyings you can be you can be quirky and smart with your builds. You don't have to just be the soul rip boy that your carry demands for. Carries are greedy, you know, they always want healing. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that giggle was like, yeah, yeah if I yes. force that give, give me those heals. <laughs> ah, the moment for both carries. Getting a similar amount out of their lanes. 22 and 1 top and 19 for 3 down bottom on realities of Medusa. I, I really hope. Zibe is doing the, the the big brain ultra giga chad build on Bangalore. You buy Vanguard, right? For laning yep. phase. Later down the line, you disassemble. Use the Percy, uh, the Ring of Health, sorry, for a Lotus Orb to help deal with the overgrowth of Trian. And then you use the Vitality for your eventual Abyssal Blade when you become the big core that we said suggested earlier. So I really hope that this is a disassembling Vanguard for, for, for Lotus Orb down the line. Just gonna put it out there. We'll see in the future if it happens. I really hope he does it. It's super cool and underdone. My TED talk's over. Thank you, Owen. Oh, I think yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I mean, well, I think we'll see more Sorry, of it. You know, a lot of offlaners are getting the Vanguard now again. Just yeah, falling back into favour. I don't know why I got so excited over disassembling. I literally just got out of my seat, kind of half like, ooh, ooh. got to calm down for a second. Oh, top Kachar. Ouch. Nice tombstone. Got nice body blocks. Causing struggles again. Zombies are building up and Kachal goes down. The top lane continuing to be a bit of a rough one for Winterbat. I see bottom lane. Phantasma also in trouble. The blast will connect. As Chicken Fighters getting these early kills here in the side lanes as they need to with this draft. Yeah, and yeah, Winterbat's. Like we mentioned already, their draft was more for surviving mid-game. They yeah. didn't draft amazing laning winning heroes compared to Chicken Fighters. Of course they did. Oh, this is the combo that they spoke about, but not enough mana to really uh, put it into effect. Yeah, not quite at this stage. And Mr. Preem, he's going to try and set up for a kill. He's got Era to help out. I've got the Blast coming across the two of them. I'll take down Zoom Zigzag. Pastille will be able to survive, but another kill as Chicken Fighters are up to 2k lead already here six minutes in. And you can see that just the effect of the supports, right? Like some Keeper Light Undying, even though they don't have stuns and they're there, but just being on mid, putting Chakras onto a puck, being present, it's just, it's so hard. And there isn't really the damage right now from Winterbeds to find the kills. If anything, they need to rely on Brewmaster hitting six. Oh, top and maybe then making a play, but they're just dying top time and time again. He's got the stick maybe charges. Uh, so the zombies are chasing. Uh, he's he's going to be fine, all right. Bangun doesn't want to keep going. Kachar will make it out, but he is again being bullied back to the base. Honestly, that feels like it, like dying, you know? Like having to walk all the way back to base. And then they get the pull-off as well, so you're not really going to get this XP. It's Yeah, this is super hard. And you just see from the net worth already, they're building quite a lead. And it's not, you know, a 2k lead on one here. It's everyone consistently being, you know, a K ahead of their of their rival. I see Pastel does come in with the movement. Back up from Zoom Zigzag, he's able to get the kill. He's low on mana though. Coma and Supreme looking towards him, but Kachar will swing across from the lane and make sure the chicken fighters can't chase the storm. And we'll see where they want to head to next here, Kachar. Very, very close to having that six. And it'll be a little. A little tougher for the chicken fighters to make the moves that they have been getting away with. Going to need to require the backup of Supreme and his puck if they want to lock him down and silence him. See over in the river. Uh, talking about the lockdown. Supreme, he's got the coil on of the two of them. Blast comes over. The snap's there as well. So Pastor won't be able to get away. The coil catches him stuck. Two more kills yeah, for chicken fighters. Them. And Shibay, he's coming across as well to make sure reality doesn't get much room in the jungle. Won't connect with the swashbuckle. But still the pressure. Making reality think th think twice about where he sort of gets away with hitting creeps. 
Yeah, you can just see chicken fighters. They're like moving this kind of wall across the map and just forcing winter bears into like the smaller, smaller part of the map. And they're just struggling to to connect right now. I feel like their best play is Brew hit six, which he has just done, and then Storm Io needs to connect onto top, jump this tiny with then the primal spirit of the brewmaster and just hope to kill him down but again i'm saying that in a very optimistic view because he's a you know 1600 hp tiny with a wand and unfortunately he's the only hero that you probably can kill because pangolier will roll up and just run away there aren't enough stuns and then puck again phase shift orb hard to kill so the only hero that on paper looks like an okay kill is the one that has the most hp and is really inconvenient so this is now a difficult window in the game where Looking for kills is probably not the objective, just pushing out waves, surviving. Like I mentioned, this is kind of what the draft is meant to do. We expected them to lose the early game. We expect them to lose the first kind of Roshan, the first kind of portion. It's defending the stacks, keeping towers alive, using that terrain protector, survive long enough that then you have items. But oh, right now, Pastille. it's difficult. It's caught again, these coils, Supreme's just ready every time it's up following that storm. Not letting Pastille get to play anywhere. Supreme, he's locking him down, and you can see already the huge difference coming out. You know, and the, the goal between the two mids here. Nearly 2k ahead. Here's Supreme against Pastille, just 10 minutes coming up. These stacks are taking so long to farm. It's like 10 minutes, you've got 3.6k net worth Medusa. You know, Pastille's offering his body so that Medusa can farm this, you know? like. If Pastel survives there, like he's making that play so that there aren't resources on Chicken Fighters to invade here. And this has taken a good, you know, minute 30 and it's still not down. Is Chicken Fighters going to like invade here? They're going to try and kill Kachal here. Supreme's ready to jump from the invis. He's close to the tower. The avalanche into the silence with which blade they've got the damage. Another kill for Supreme now, dominating as Puck. 4-0-1. Radiance it's just so so hard it's like in in the game though like if you're watching this you're like oh winter bears are just getting destroyed but it's like they kind of they kind of have to right like they in what world do you see them making like an aggressive play where they kill people like tree io aren't supposed to do this so again great for chicken fighters to find these kills really good for their overall system of their draft but they need to start converting this into a little bit more on the map the fact that medusa is Top three net worth, nearly top two. Oh, and again, I mean, Dream Coil's up and Pastille's gone. <laughs> you know, kill, every mate. time yeah. that Supreme's got that out, Pastille just ends up underneath the, the catch of him. And Supreme, he, he really is. He's, get, he's getting him every time. Pastille's game getting completely smashed here by the puck. And this is the this is the biggest pickoff now because you finally chipped down this mid tier one. Like, this is yeah a really good start. Now we're going to see top, Kachal, he's getting in with the Primal Split, but he's not going to have enough damage for this Tiny. Uh, Supreme, he'll chase out Zoom Zigzag, and now he's ready to look back across towards Kachal. As the split starts to come to an end, Chicken Fighters chasing with the, the full squad here. Ready to run down and block off the escape of this Brew as they claim another. I was honestly quite surprised that they even went to try and hit this tier one tower, bringing the Medusa up into this aggressiveness. I thought they were going to play super defensive, but yeah, I think now they've chicken fighters have punished them that one time. Reality's like, all right, boys, I'm back to the jungle. No more hitting towers for me. I, I need to farm a couple items before. And also, we got to see a little bit of a glimpse into how I'm dying. Uh, is pretty good against Brewmaster. You just put that tombstone down. When the brew splits, you start building the zombies on all the... Oh, mid. Yeah, you, you'll never guess another what's coil. happened here again. Another coil. Another coil. Another kill. As they'll roll on, they'll look to see if they can turn this into another one. They can. Controls there from Jibe and the Pango. They're just getting ran at non-stop. And it's just beautiful usage of the spells, right? As soon as it's up, like you mentioned, go for the kill. And Kachow, he comes to top lane. There's just no room. They're already here. <laughs> Might be able to run it off though. No stun. Has been and they did well. Yeah, this must feel horrible to play. Not quite, quite sure what it died to, but they did get Supreme's courier. So his bots are going to be put on the sidelines for a couple of minutes. Bit of a slow down there. Jibe will be found alone bottom. So Winter Bear able to punch back with a, with a kill, a pick off against the Pango. 
this will be the perfect game where I wish we had team comms for. Because hearing Winter Bears, I want to hear like the Medusa player right now. Yeah, sure. Like, yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'm hitting creeps. Give me 10 minutes. Give me 20 minutes. You know, sacrifice yourself, boys. I can, you know, I want to hear that camaraderie of like PMA because this is exactly what's happening. Like there isn't some like clean communication of let's go smoke and come back in. It's just you have to give them the, the glimmer of hope. <laughs> this is exactly what they're looking for. But yeah, you can see Supreme. He's having a stellar old time. Oh no, he's, he's got the dream coil Another up again. Coil? You gotta just get away from this puck, Pastille. Oh no, there it is again! As Pastille, this time round he'll live. This time, I think for the first time there, the coil doesn't result in his death. So Im improvements for the outcome of the situations that Winter Bear's been finding themselves in there. Pastille will survive. So Pastille surviving a, a coil. Zoom zigzag hugging Medusa. If they can keep this going, the farm will happen. Like again, look, Medusa, it's not great, but like she's still top three, only about a K behind uh, Tiny. This is realistic because Medusa in a 1v1 against uh, Tiny will outscale. You know, some Scardi, Satanic, Butterfly, Manta. You're going to be living the dream going late game. It's just <laughs> pretty far down the line. But the fact that she's still there in net worth. Is testament to the fact that she's not getting, uh, she's not overreacting to these engagements. That's a big zip. That yeah, pastel just goes for error. Straight in. We'll have TPs coming over. They're up at the side. It's not of the two of them. They're going to try and fight back. But Primal splits up. Kachal. The turn with the sun on towards Bengen. The tombstone has been dropped. Still trying to stay on top of the Undying to finish him off. And I'll pop the ult and try and run back underneath the tier two. Another stuns in. The ult's going to come to an end soon here from the brew. As Bengen will turn with one more decay, the Soul Rip to heal. Kichal's got to go for the TP straight out, but Coil's up. TP is put to an end, and they'll kill off the Brew deep by the Tier 2 Tower. Team in while down bottom. Chicken Fighter's also trying to look for the big catch here. Look for the Medusa. You have the slow on the two of them in here. Stuck by the... The, tr the, the, so the stairs is a bit of a risky place, but the overgrowth from the stone gaze will hold back Shibay a little bit. Gives reality the chance to get out of that. So they'll be able to save the Medusa. They won't be able to do the same though with the tree. Toss back by Koma into the clutches of Shibay and Supreme. Chicken fighters will still find themselves another kill. 17 to 2. Just using the blink on the tiny again, that's a little jump there. You see Koma, he's kind of playing not like the, the carry has done in the past. He's playing a much more active style, just knowing how far ahead that they, uh, they are. Medusa hasn't been able to hit creeps for about a minute now, just because of Koma standing next to the jump. Yeah, they're just running at them. That's the toss over to the side. Reality getting burst low. They're gone. Chicken Fighters getting that all-important kill there. As long as they're slowing down this Medusa, they've not got too much to worry about. Pastel. He's going to try and go for the play of the tab. The coil's up and he's gone. Another kill for Koma. Set up here by the ult of Supreme. Any stuns? No. Coil's on cooldown. Now it seems Zigzag sort of just hiding in the roach pit. He's uh, about to solo Roshan. And kind of surrounded by chicken fighters. <laughs> it's not many. We'll see what he's, uh, if he's able to get out of this area safely. Hmm. Well, it looks like that. Looks like the might now. Yeah. He'll be fine. I think the saving grace for Winter Bear is chicken fighters haven't supported their aggression with uh, vision as well. So this isn't like uh, that they're running in, like they're kind of running into the fog right now, if you're chicken fighters. They're just hoping to find people. So if Medusa is able to somehow get out of the, the trap, like you see here on the bottom side of the map, right? Medusa is kind of scurrying her way through the jungle. If she can somehow get to the dire triangle, if she can somehow get that kind of breathing room paired with a very aggressive ward from Winterbear, it might give her, you know, 500,000 gold before chicken fighters come and look for her. All right, let's go. This is the Over. build. We'll see if they do it. A rapier queued up next. Will be one of the earlier pickups in the build. All right, let's do it. Why not? Like rapier isn't great. Doesn't have a true strike anymore. Obviously, you know, many patches ago. But in this type of game, it can it can still work out. 
Yeah, I, mean, I feel I, like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit skeptical that the Dragon Lance Yasha Treads 1200 HP Medusa is going to get the full effect of a rapier. But if you then somehow quickly farm a BKB after the fact, maybe. But that's some incredible optimism. But I'm, I'm down for it. Yeah, that takes that would guts. be pretty. That takes bravado. So pretty wild. Go yeah. for it. Oh, we nearly got the uh, eggs on brute. 500 gold away from that one. I'm actually so interested to see now if Medusa goes actually for the rapier. Because they, yeah, they have both like... queued up, right? So it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. BKB into that. the rapier seems more believable. So that is like probably some... what's going on. But... Oh, God. Bruiser are running into the Undying as well. He's got no mana. Has he got any way of getting away from this? I... I don't think so. Jump in with a burst. Swashbuckle, they'll take down Kachal as well. This is all space, you know, as long as they can keep Medusa away from this. <laughs> don't want to be the, the bearer of bad news, Owen, but little old Medusa has opted for the man to start. Oh, off. disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on, okay. Maybe this next, like some, though. We'll, some... see what we'll, we'll see what reality cues back up now he's got the man to done. Bro, it's just like in your, in your pubs, you know? Like your core just like teases you with like the fake, you know, I'm buying this. Not I think so, yeah. We're getting the standard stuff here from Reality Manta yeah. into Scardi. Yeah. Which I, I thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so much more consistent. Can actually, you know, A click stand your ground. All zoom zigzag. Oh! Oh! Uh... Poor lad. Oh, wait, we're one kill away. We are, we are indeed. All right, went to bed. We're also about a minute away from having two, 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 two all across the score. Two, 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 we're, two, we're, two, we're two. very yeah, close yeah. to having a lot of twos. You know, if we get 22 minutes, 22 on them, on the on the, on the right. time. Ah, oh, but we're not going to get it. I think it's not. No, don't do it, Pastel. Oh, uh, he's gone. Wait, it's reverse. There we go. Reverse. <laughs> The Australians loving it right now. See, <laughs> bang, excellent work. Three, two, two, three, three, two, two. Jokes aside, bro. Oh, right, jokes aside, he's got the rapier queued back up now, instead of the scar. Oh, Let's go. That's not a joke. He's matter. living on the one. edge here. He's he's keeping us guessing reality. Is I'm going for the rapier? I nah, like just kidding, man. Team performance. Every sure, time like, every time died, someone dies, he's rapier. like, I'm buying a rapier. <laughs> if you go out and feed again, I'm buying a rapier. <laughs> oh, Let's go, get that I rapier. I was excited for their team communication, but now I'm worried. It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it's not this hostile, but <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty happy days. Maybe not happy, they are losing, but I'm sure it's pretty relaxed. Yo, oh, wait. Okay, still got the Vanguard. All right, so it's going to be Blink, and after Blink, we might see the Lotus Orb. Disassembling shenanigans. Radiance top tower is under attack. We'll see for now. But yeah, chicken fighters. Pretty standard stuff. Sweep across the map, farm up, get any uh, pickup that you want. <laughs> nice little TP cancel. Oh. Uh, well, they do bring in. The, they're oh. bringing everyone in, but the coils down. We've got Jibe coming in from the side. They jump forward, burst the eye. A phantasm nearly getting blasted down by the coil. He's going to try and. I escape here in the trees, but they will catch him. Both supports go down. Reality's got to run. And they're diving in underneath the tier two. Stone Gaze has already been used. They've got the Manta, but they've got nothing else to protect themselves as Reality will die. Going for the going for the pickoff, going for the play, but then whiffing one spell spells disaster, right? So the route here doesn't actually last for that long. And it should have been, bam, instant. But he actually goes for the Leech Seed, which then prevents him getting the ultimate off. If he didn't cast Leech Seed, would have just been an overgrowth. Would have been most likely the kill. So unfortunate there from Phantasma. Played a really good game one. A little bit shakier here, but still, it's one wrong button. Yeah, difficult. And those are the type of plays where it could maybe, you know, spell a comeback, but it's now going to feel a thousand times worse as they come and hit your high ground. I'll see whether they're going for the base defense. Reality will be up. Pop the glyph. 
Let's see how good the D push is. Reality's got to be careful as he steps up. And that's the team's turn. They will be able to take that out. Big zip from Pastel. He's trying to lead in. He's got the BKB ready to fight with this time. Coma's out with the invis. A huge roll of thunder here from Zipay comes through as he pretty much crashes across the entire team. Reality will still be able to put the stone gaze, and they are pushing back chicken fires. Nobody dies in this defense from Winter Bat. Yeah. A nice little hole, but maybe chicken fires want to just reset within the next, you know, 50 seconds. There's not going to be stone gaze. There's no brute. I guess there's brute split back up, but in 50. But this is where chicken fighters, this is the, uh, they need to look for pick off, fight, go. Like as soon as overgrowth on cooldown, obviously it's still up, but kind of the concept, right? Take away one of the key spells, just go again. Like there's no real need for them to be too afraid. And you kind of also see from Winter Bears, like they're down 16k, but they were able to like pretty comfortably to some degree hold the high ground just because they had every single big spell used, didn't get picked off by the, by the coil. And I can start healing up. Like, I'm not trying to be like just optimistic for no reason because you know casting a game and whatnot, but they do have the heroes to prolong this game for some time. Like, oh sure, absolutely, yeah. They are down by 24 kills, 18,000 gold, and have no map control, but they do technically have the heroes to make it happen. Oh. <laughs> wow, the oh, board read, okay? Uh, he tried to help his mate there. <laughs> Zoom zigzag was like, Phantasma, I gotcha. I could come in and out, but nothing to be done there, unfortunately, for him. Kachal also in a bit of a dangerous zone. As he's gone. Three more kills for the chicken fighters. I know where reality is. Like, yeah. uh, I know what this is like. Yeah, he's got to run it off, run away. Yo, the rape is still there. And he's closing in on it. He's halfway Scardi's towards better. it. I just don't think it's that good compared to Scardi. I mean, he's honestly, he's probably the... just going to get Scardi. Probably. Because he did I this, as I we had this before, right? He's queues it up and then he goes for the, <laughs> the, the standard thing, so. Oh, yeah, well, the we'll Bruise dead. Of course, he's got the Rapier in, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah, spawns, teammates are dying. He's keeping yeah, that yeah. Rapier queued up next. <laughs> Radiance top tower has fallen. I oh, will see. That's very close to the money for the relic. I feel like if you're buying a rapier, oh, you need to pick it. Pastille, they Pastille. found him. It's dead, yeah. You can't buy the relic. You, you have to do the full surprise. You I do, like yeah, yeah, absolutely. Kind of half arsing it. If you got to like, my relic. <laughs> There's yeah. a rapier on the way. You got to save that that five nine fifty. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, two k, two k gold away. Not too, that's not By much. That point, he's also going to lose two racks at this rate. I think so. We'll see them trying to go for the. Oh, nice jukes here with the swashbuckle. Uh, but Zoom Zigzag will still die. Nothing to be done as he struggles there moments from his fountain. Uh, coiled in position. Right. And no backup coming in. He's I'm brought the really relic. Did he? he didn't do the disassembling. He bought a full Lotus Orb. Owen. Oh, I see. Well, I. He didn't do it. I mean, I guess he feels he's got the money. You know, he's like, this game's going pretty True. good. I don't need to sort of cut corners. All right, let's get the buyback, but uh, instant death. Zoom zigzag's got. Pastor's going to jump with the BKB. They do get the catch on the puck. Supreme's getting low. And he's still going to be able to blink out after the phase shift comes to an end. Jibay looking to come back in with the rolling thunder. Reality's in trouble. He's getting low on mana. They're in on top of the Medusa. They'll kill off the storm. And that's, yeah, they'll, they'll call it there. GG. As, uh, yeah, game one might have been kind of close and back and forth. This game two, though, was uh, a bit of a walk in the park for Chicken Fighters.